Hi guys and welcome back to part 6 of the production tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at synthesis again and today is actually a request by YouTube user Red Star Hanoi who wanted to ask how to create the sound from the JB's Blow Your Head track which was sampled by Public Enemy on their track Public Enemy number 1. I actually created a short demo using the patch earlier today, so hopefully it's close enough, and this is how it turned out. Anyway, that's the sound, let's get started. Okay, so it's another quite simple sound again. It's just a saw wave going into two filters in serial and with some extra effects to kind of tweak the sound and give us an extra bit of analog grip to it. So let's go file, new sound to get started. And we'll make sure oscillator one is set to square saw one, which it should be by default. And we're just gonna leave the wavetable position, intensity and amp in the same places. And we're gonna push this into filter one. Next thing we're going to do is turn on the noise generator, which it should be by default, and set it to white noise. And we're going to bring the color to about 2 o'clock. And we're going to bring the amp to about 10 o'clock. Maybe just past 10 o'clock. And we're going to push this into filter 1 as well. Okay, next thing to do is set up the filters. So what we're going to do is for filter 1, we're going to choose low pass 2. And filter 2, we're going to choose high pass 2. Now, I believe the original was recorded on either a Moog or an Oberi MSEM module, both of which have a bandpass filter, which is quite nice. But unfortunately, Massive's bandpass filter is very bright and kind of suitable for modern music, but not so great for kind of analog leads, etc. So we're going to use a low pass and a high pass to kind of mimic a bandpass filter for this tutorial. So we're going to push the filter into series. And we're going to bring up the volume for high pass 2. And again, we're going to bring the mix stage down to mix two, because as with the other tutorials, we've got the sound coming out of the oscillators into filter one, out into filter two, and out into the mix stage. Okay, first thing we're going to do is to set the cutoff of filter one right down. And secondly, we're going to choose on the cutoff for filter two, we're going to bring it up a tiny bit to about just before 11 o'clock, and we're going to bring the resonance right down. So we're actually going to shape the sound with filter 1, and we're just going to cut off some of the low end with filter 2. Okay, next thing to do is to have a look at the envelope, uh, sorry, LFO5. And we're going to use this to modulate the pitch on oscillator 1 ever so slightly like we've done in the past. So we're going to drag this into the center so it's peaking in the middle, and push the crossfade curve all the way to the top. And we're going to drag the rate to about just before 2 o'clock and we're going to leave the amp as it is. And we're going to assign this by clicking on the D-pad and clicking in the box underneath pitch. And we're going to give it 15 cent, just so it modulates a tiny little bit, kind of emulating those analog circuits so we don't get a completely predictable pitch all the way through. Okay, next thing to look at is the envelope one tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to control the filter cutoff with this envelope. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the attack up to about 10 o'clock. And we're going to bring the decay back to about 11. And we're going to push the level up a tiny bit to about just before 1 o'clock. Maybe actually at 1 o'clock, I'd say. And we're going to bring the release right down. Now you want the top of this slope peaking on about the E of reset above it, if you can see that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to assign this to filter one cutoff. So we're going to click on the pad for envelope one and click in the box below cutoff. And we're going to click and drag all the way up. So now if I play, we're getting that kind of Moogish kind of open filter sound that we want. Okay, next thing to do is just to move over to the amp envelope. So envelope four. And all we're going to do here is just bring the attack up a tiny bit. So it's just a little bit less sharp at the beginning of the note. As I've said before, amp envelope 4 is connected to the amp mod up here already by default. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go to the oscillator tab. 
and we're going to change the traversal mode to rate and we're going to push the time up just a tiny bit to about one o'clock okay and the next thing we're going to do is go to the voicing tab and we're going to change it to monophonic to monopho monophon <laughs> Okay, so last thing to do is just add a few effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on effects one and we're going to choose classic tube just to grip the sound up a little bit. And we're going to bring the dry wet to just past nine o'clock, between nine and ten o'clock. And the drive to about the same position. Okay, next one is effects two and we're going to choose dimension expander. That's purely optional, but it just gives us a little bit of extra sort of dimension to the sound. Makes a little bit less sort of two-dimensional. And we're going to bring the dry wet to just a few clicks up off the bottom. And the size the same as well. We only want to use a tiny little bit of this. Okay, and thirdly, for the EQ, I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to just knock off the high end just a tiny bit with a high shelf. So about 11 o'clock. Okay, and finally, just to sort of add a little bit more grip, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on insert one, and we're going to use the sign shaper. So set this to about just between 11 and 12 o'clock. And the drive, I guess about 10 o'clock. And that should be everything for the sound. So if we play... Anyway, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, Red Star Hanoi, I hope that was helpful for you and everybody else that wants to create something similar. I hope that was also helpful for you guys as well. Anyway, thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next one.